Right now at four, one day after city leaders announced a plan to burn a hazardous home to the ground, we're learning more about what that burn will look like and how far the chemical impacts could go. Tuesday morning, Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg announced there will be a controlled burn for this property in Highview at 6213 Applegate Lane. On site, investigators found several explosives, chemicals, and tons of clutter. The mayor described the house as a hoarder's home, saying the excessive debris make it unsafe for crews to remove the threats piece by piece and unrealistic for robots. Today, we're following up on a concern we've heard from you, that burning these chemicals sounds just as unsafe. Grace McKenna spoke with the director of emergency management about why this is the path the city's taking. Since the city's announcement Tuesday, we have received dozens of questions from our viewers asking how the city's plans for the controlled burn could impact things like the air quality. We're trying to get those answers for you today. In a news conference, city leaders said a controlled burn was the only path forward to dispose of the hazardous materials inside this home. In the hours since, viewers and neighbors have reached out to us with questions about how burning the chemicals could impact the air in Highview and beyond. How can you do a controlled burn and tell me there's no issues? Health Dr. Monica Unseld with Until Justice Data Partners worries burning chemicals could spread through the air and says conditions on the day of the burn will be a determining factor. It really depends on the weather and the wind speed. And those are things that we won't know until it's done, unfortunately. We're still working to learn more about the specific chemicals involved. An affidavit ordering the burn says the home contains both primary and secondary explosives and more than 20 different chemicals. One of those we've learned was picric acid. A normal structure fire is already toxic. Firefighters have higher rates of cancer due to the chemicals in our buildings. Emergency director Jody Myman says they'll wait for a day with low humidity and the right wind conditions. Burning the fire at an extremely high heat is also a goal to keep chemicals out of the smoke. It will consume the chemicals inside of there. It's just like a chemical fire that you would see you know, somewhere else off site, whether it's a tractor trailer that's overturned, a chemical facility, a lot of the product is consumed in the fire. But Myman says officials don't have an exact idea how far the smoke could travel, adding they're assessing backup plans as well. We've got to relight the fire or if it doesn't take off like we expect it to take off. So that's where the experts, um, you know, are actually going through and making sure that they've got the right components. Unseld said controlled burns have happened in other parts of the United States and believes the city needs to set aside more dollars for chemical issues in the future.